What's up guys? This video is about uh, some words that I've been saying when I've been assigning homework about how I ask you to increase your mastery percentage. I want to show you what I'm referring to and how you can do that. Um, it's not about get four questions right, it's more about uh, uh, show that you are understanding the content and here's how you can track that. So I'm just diving into a, a the first uh, course, you click the courses link in the top left. I went into early math counting. I'm doing the very first task. Um, if you're interested for some quick points, maybe go through the early math content and just show that you are proficient with just basic math stuff. I'm going to spare you the details of going through this idea of counting, which is what that first task is. That's where math comes from. Uh, after you've completed so many questions correct, you get this little leveled up to familiar um, uh, notification, which means that you've moved from basic or have attempted this topic to now you're showing that you actually understand it. If you get every question correct, you'll be labeled or this task will be labeled as proficient. And on the sidebar where that task was, instead of having empty columns, you'll now have two purple blocks that signify you're at proficient. Uh, it adds to this uh, idea of a running mastery total of 80 points and um, each task needs to have 80 points. Instead of going through every task, maybe you actually want to dive into a quiz. And so I breezed through a quiz there just to show you. Uh, instead of doing task by task, I did one quiz. And uh, the task that I got an 80% on a proficient distinguished, that stayed proficient, but all of the other tasks in that little topic are now labeled as proficient also. So a way for you to pick up some quick points to increase your mastery is to um, take the quizzes first maybe or, or start with the quizzes. Uh, after you've done every quiz and every task is at an 80%, that's all I'm asking you to do, but you can prove that you are a master of the content and get that little crown on the top of all of those columns by taking the unit test. And as you take the unit test, I'm going to breeze through it right here just so you can save yourself from having to actually think about the math that's going on. But when you complete the unit test, all of those tasks in that topic uh, now we'll get that little crown on the top of them. And so that's what you can see over here. Um, there are some tasks, the way that I did it, I didn't do all the quizzes first. So there are some tasks that were at an 80% and the unit test got them to 100% mastery with the little crown on top. There were other tasks that I hadn't completed before, but getting every question right on the unit test gave me proficiency. So if I take the unit test a second time and get every question right, then uh, one, I'll collect all the points possible. I'll move all of the tasks up to a mastered category. And you can see that in the way the video, uh, in the way that the, the percentage changes. Anyway, that's the mastery system. That's when I say get uh, another 5% to the total score. This is just in one topic, but over the overall, we're looking for those. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, I know I'm trying to be clear and upfront as we're moving through things during this time of, of, uh, of crisis. Thanks for watching this video. Give it a like if you want. Thanks for doing some math with me.